God bless America. Today's video is all about celebrating the 4th of July with some great DIYs that are always on a budget. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm going to be 73 in October. I cannot believe this. <laughs> And the only reason I tell you that is that if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I have confidence in you. I want to thank my lovely subscribers, all my dear sweet friends that watch my videos and take the time to comment. That means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss these videos with a different theme every month. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. Okay, so we are going to make some really cute patriotic decorations. Now, I know 4th of July is coming up shortly, but remember, we're going to celebrate America and Americana all month long in July. So whether you're going to a um, 4th of July party or you're throwing one, you want some last minute ideas for tags or bags or decor or anything like that, so I hope you love this. I hope you get so inspired and I hope you have a fabulous and fun and safe 4th of July. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome to my July 4th crafts. We have just enough time to make some of these things for 4th of July. But just a reminder, my whole month of July will be a patriotic month celebrating our country, uh, quilting, farming, from sea to farms to desert. I'm going to be um, doing a whole patriotic month. So look for more red, white, and blue uh, crafts coming up in July. All right, <laughs> let's take a look here at what I have. I think one of the most cutest things you can do is to do a group of flags. And in this one, I just use one of those Dollar Tree candle holders and my little flags from Dollar Tree fit right in there. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start over on this side and then I'll go into the firecrackers and all that in a minute. One of the cutest things you can make for 4th of July or any time that you wanna be patriotic are red, white, and blue items. And I love using these cupcake liners. Aren't these cute? I get them at Michael's. I think it's Michael's or maybe Hobby Lobby. And um, I'm just gonna see if there's a ticket on here. No. It has stars and stripes. So what makes it so cute when you flatten out the cupcake liner, you just turn it over and I just flatten it. You can actually make a little slit, cut some out, I don't do all of that. I just flatten it out. And if you want to make a cute little circle, take one of these small little candy liners, I think that's what they're for, and you can put that there again with the star in the middle or whatever you want to do. But you can make these and they're so adorable. Just uh, cut out a little star, put that on there, and you can put some twine or baker's twine on there. And you might say, well, Bonnie, what am I going to do with that? Well, there's several things you can do. Number one is I love them as embellishments. You can put them on tags. Uh, you can do a, a, a tag and that's your whole uh, decoration on there. But you can see I use some blue and white. You could use red and white Baker's twine also. Got that at Dollar Tree. Now, I like to distress my edges. And that's done with Tim, Tim Holtz Distressing Ink. Now, I've showed you this before, but I've taken these stars. They came in a grouping of three, I believe. And if I ever want to use red and white stripes, I already have it. Okay, but on the other side, that's kind of a cardboard looking color. I did a whitewash and just drew lines like it was a shiplap. So it looks like old wood. Isn't that cool? If you don't want to do shiny, bright, sparkly stars, you can do these vintage looking stars. And all I did was add one of these little pinwheels on here and a little star and the twine and baker's twine. Now, another way I use these is to take some of these patriotic straws, which you can do so many things with too, but I made like a little thing that very young children, you can see, now I didn't finish it on this side just to show you. I usually do a little round of cardboard on my pinwheel, 
just taped on a straw, put some uh, twine and baker's twine on here. And you can see here's one of my little cupcake liners flattened with a star in it. And this would be so cute for little kids to, um, you know, shake around. You can even make a shaker box out of it for um, Fourth of July when you don't want them near any fireworks. But you can put them in an arrangement. You can put them in a bag. It can be a gift. There's so many things you can do with these little pinwheels. You can also make collages out of any printed paper that has writing. By the way, I love this background paper here. Now I've gotten this at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if they still have it, but to me it reminds me of the Constitution because um, of the writing. You can do one with music, stars, and then some of this writing paper. That's what this is. I have just really aged it a lot, some star paper, and you can make collages. Okay, now if you wanna do some faux sweets, Look what I did on my little tiny cakes. All I did was take some of these foam scatter stars from Dollar Tree. You know, they're made out of foam. I took some of these cute flags from Hobby Lobby. Oh, get them. They're on 40% right now, or I think 50%. Um, I think they're $1.99. So for a dollar, you can get a whole bunch of these little flags to put in cupcakes, on desserts, on a cheese platter, if you're throwing a 4th of July party, those are just too cute. But I thought how cute they were, just stuck in those little stars and just set on my little faux cakes. So adorable. Now I wanted to show you a larger version of that star that I made. And I know the paper's upside down, you know I just noticed that. <laughs> Look how cute one of those cupcake liner uh, pinwheels is and then I did a red and white striped star can you see with some faux stitching around it I'm going to show you a lot of that next month when we talk about faux quilting and a star and then a twine and baker's twine and that is one of my favorite decorations I made now if you have a star punch which I hope you do because that's within the very center of that uh, decoration and this decoration have these little stars. I have a star punch that I've used. Now I've taken some wire and I just wrapped some washi tape around it to make it a little thicker. And I cut out stars and I just glued them together around the wire. So now you have a little star garland. How cute to put on a package, to put on some treats, to put on some faux sweets. Um, I just think they're absolutely adorable and use these kind of old looking papers, you know, the stars. Um, I have some paper that has little flags on it and I thought that was so cute. This is like jean printed uh, paper and then we have some with stars on them. So, and there's one with stripes and just put it on both sides and now you have a little garland that would probably cost you what, six, seven dollars if you bought it at Hobby Lobby. Now, one of the cutest things I make, and of course, Dollar Tree has a little patriotic flowers, are these firecrackers. Now I make these a little bunch of three, and then I also make these. Now, this was paper from Hobby Lobby. This is the paper that I made some of these stars out of. You can see here, it has stripes and stars. I just take a paper towel roll. I fill it with some, I guess you see it at the top better, some of that green foam, okay? And I put a little barbecue skewer because if I want to put it in a display so it stands up, um, I have the little skewer at the bottom here. But these are just adorable. It's paper towel roll covered with paper, some foam stuck in there, and then just stick whatever you want to in there. Now, I want to show you what I put in there. Number one, they didn't have these this year. I was really shocked. Do you know how they have these things? Well, that's what's in the top of there. I cut all these stars out and the little top, the little explosion of fireworks. And these are real cute too. Just put them in something so you don't see the base. But I use that for the top. And you can see I have two more up here. Okay. Now what I want to show you next is one of my favorite fireworks I made. Now this is different sizes of paper towel roll. One's a striped, one's that uh, flag material, and one is stars. 
And again, I put some foam in there and just stuck in all these explosions. And then I uh, hot glued them together and put this little circle of um, burlap ribbon on there. And they stand up, they're just so cute. Now you can make these out of anything. You can make more simpler. You could just have a little fuse on the end if you wanted to, but I just like the look of exploding fireworks. I have another one over here. So make a pair. So if you have your centerpiece with all the flags, you'll have, you can have this, you can raise this up. You can make them bigger if you want to. You can make them out of um, those uh, pool foam things. You can make them out of PVC pipe. You can make them as big or small as you want to, but I think they're so cute and they stand up so nicely. And if you're at um, Dollar Tree and you see these cupcake uh, little uh, explosions, I don't know what else to call them, <laughs> um, buy them. You get 12 for $1.25 and you can see that's kind of what I've stuck in here. And they used to have solid colors and all, but uh, I think they're so adorable. So this is just the beginning. I really want to wish all of you a very, very happy and safe and joyful 4th of July. Let's celebrate our wonderful country. Oh, God bless America. And um, we're so thankful for our freedoms and for the wonderful country we're in. And um, I want to wish you all a very happy uh, 4th of July. I'll be back on, I think, on 4th of July to do a decor video for next month. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got so inspired and we'll make some of these decorations for your 4th of July party or just to decorate your house. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.